Food security became a topic of discussion early in the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. Many were forced to look at ways to put food on the table from home. Out of this need came the gardeners and the yardeners. And with so many people trying their hand at growing their own food, a challenge arose for some. What to do with the excess? That is where the yard market comes in. Cameraman Andy Wharton visited the special market in central Trinidad and Stacey and Providence reports. When TDT News visited the yard market in Chase Village on Sunday, it was no surprise to find that the couple behind the initiative were themselves agriculturalists. Agriculture economist Omadat Maraj and his wife Gayatri said they recognized very early that with so many people attempting to grow their own food, a forum was needed to bring these non-conventional farmers together. So the yard market was born three months ago. This is the third iteration and it's a forum really to encourage like-minded people to share their resources and to also participate. So in this forum, we've also had other home gardeners with produce to sell primarily. We've been, off been able to offer v differentiated seedlings, primarily heirloom plants and different vegetables. Mr. Mirage believes if people continue to grow their own food, there could be significant positive impact on the food import bill. But yes, there's fun, there's excitement in growing stuff. But there's also very important lessons about how we can manage food and nutrition security at the household level. And it became very alarming that although there was a lot of outreach in terms of people being unemployed and so on, and a lot of the food hampers were able to reach those most vulnerable among us. If we inspect those packages, you'll see very clearly that maybe every food hamper in this country is shared with an imported packet of rice. And that's very alarming. And you ask yourself, well, why are we not growing rice in this country in a way that could secure our eating habits and so on? And among the items available at the market are heirloom seeds coming out of the gardening mom's own garden. We try to, to grow things that people look for, but they can't usually find. We also, we also try to educate people on like growing beets, growing carrots, things that um, you, we, we usually import, right? We, we want to be able to grow them locally now. This, the third edition of the Yard Market, also saw some like-minded entrepreneurs like Aliyah Ali, who found a way to help provide for her rescued pets in these economically challenging times. Our upcycle pet beds are a sustainability project that we started during the COVID-19 because my husband and I can't work with the borders closed. Our corporate work is to do with passing through borders. I'm in immigration and he's in uh, export of perishables. So to maintain our 54 rescued and sanctuary housed animals, we came up with our upcycle pet beds. The Marajas say they hope to continue hosting the yard market at their home on a monthly basis. Stacey Ann Providence, TTT News. That to feed your family, grow some food, create your own money, plant something, work with more than nature, grow some food, time to set up your own future.